All right, so we got a whole brand new setup. This was my old setup over here. There's nothing really wrong with it. I just thought it was time for, you know, just to spice it up, get something new. So this is gonna be like my mess around board, pretty much. Basically, I'm setting up a new one. Uh, you can see what I got. I got some Bones STF wheels. These are Jawson Pro Miles. They're 52 millimeters. Bones Reds bearings. Bones one inch hardware. Black Crux trucks. And then I have a glider skateboard. This is just the original deck. This is in blue. So shout out to glider skateboards for hooking it up. And this is an 8.5 because I have big feet <laughs> i wear a size 12. But yeah basically just gonna be send this up and this is a pov i don't think i've ever done a pov skateboard setup y'all seem to be really liking the pov styled videos so you know let me know what other pov kind of content you want to see I'm, I'm mainly i've been doing like the tutorials but if you guys want to see other stuff just let me know so this is a, another twin tail skateboard. So basically there's no really dedicated nose or tail. Like I guess you can count this since you know that's kind of what the graphic goes with. But these are both equal. Also I got some Jessup grip tape. You know just plain. You know it comes with uh, free Jessup grip tape if you get that. And if you want to check out Glider Skateboards there will be a link in the description. So what's kind of funny is like whenever you do a uh, brand new complete skateboard setups and you have an old board you can just leave that there since you know everything is brand new. I'm just going to take this off. Make sure that's on all right. It's a little close on that edge, but it's all right. Man, I just realized it would be helpful to have a skate tool when setting up a skateboard. So let me go get that. Also, I love this skate tool. This is a silver skate tool. It's got a ratchet. It's even got a filer on here. If you want to see this, this will be a link in the description. I highly recommend it if you haven't got one already. Already messed up right there a little bit. Super thin right there. See, I couldn't get one cut. Gonna save this piece right here. See, is there any spots I can fix? It's a little uneven. Also bear with me, it's kind of like storming right now. It's like scattered thunderstorms and it's actually pretty hot outside, but luckily there's some cloud coverage. It's pretty sunny earlier. So I think that's a good enough job. Let's go back over with this again, make sure I get all the air bubbles out. Also, a quick question. I want to know what is y'all's like I guess favorite skateboard brands leave that down in the comment section below you know for each part you know you got the grip tape deck trucks wheels bearings hardware let me know i'm not trying to litter so i'm gonna get that i low-key need to hurry just in case it rains worst case scenario i'll just like go in this area which is my mailbox center <laughs> i also think i see a little air bubble i think i could push it out right, so now let me get my hardware bones one inch hardware also my battery may overheat on my gopro so just <laughs> bear with me on that too if you see random cuts in the video i don't even know what i <laughs> why did i dump it on there like that so usually what i do kind of just poke it with the hardware a little bit like this so i can see where it is and then i poke a hole with my tool like so so that i can actually see where it is and this isn't really a tutorial i'm just like finding excuses to talk See if I can guess where this one is. Hey. Also, I don't know why I'm wearing a white shirt while doing this because setting up skateboards, especially with grip, is like pretty dirty. I'm trying to guess. Come on. Oh, it's too far off, I think. There we go. 
All right, so it doesn't really matter which one's the front and like these trucks haven't really been worn in so i'm not even really gonna think about it because usually your bushings wear a little differently and that's the only reason why i like keep track of what's my front truck and back truck open these up these are crux 8.5 black widow trucks they're almost like a matte color which is actually pretty nice yeah man who rubber banded these together like this and i cut at it like this A little more messy, but it worked. Good, how are you doing? Yep. <laughs> yep, sign up a new one, actually. Oh, got a new one. Yep. Cool. I'm doing a, a POV with this GoPro here, so they can, like, kind of. A POV, per, uh, point of view. Oh. So it's like a first person point of view when me setting up the skateboard for a video. <laughs> got it. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> you too. Yeah. <laughs> Now you're gonna see why I love this tool. It's like the weirdest angle to do this though. Hope oh, this angle is all right for y'all. <laughs> all right, time to do the other side. Also, I know people before mentioned in my like POV skate park video that they preferred it with no music. So I think like for most of my POV videos, unless it's like a certain style of video, I'm gonna keep it to no music. So it's just more of like a raw aspect. Let me know what you think down in the comments. All right, now for the wheels. These are the Jocelyn Pro models. They're 52 millimeters. And to go alongside that, we also got bones. These are the reds bearings. And I think these are just like the defaults that everybody should go to at least. So also another question is, do y'all like to put your wheel graphics inside or out? I like to do my graphic inside. So it's just a clean white wheel on the outside. Do this. Uh oh, it's starting to rain. So I got an idea. I'm gonna take this back to the car. I'm just gonna put my trunk up and do it here. I think I can finish the rest off here. So yeah, just basically going while I was saying before, uh, do you prefer the wheel graphic inside or out? So I hope this rain clears up soon so I can actually get some skate clips for y'all. But don't worry, even if it doesn't, I'll just get some skate clips another day if it doesn't stop. Because that's the whole point of a POV set. You gotta skate and do the K-flip test. I don't know if I'm daring enough to do, do it in the rain with a new board. All right, last wheel. Uh oh, starting to rain a little harder. And that's it. That's the board setup. <laughs> We're starting to rain now, so you can see. Oh, luckily I still got a little bit of coverage from my uh, hatchback. But yeah, so big old storm, pretty interesting. So we got glider skateboards, Jessup grip tape, Bones one inch hardware, Crux trucks, Bones STF wheels, 52 millimeters. They're the Jocelyn Pro models. And yeah, I think that covers it. Let me get away from this rain now. Hopefully it's still recording. That means you guys can see me drive. So if you guys want to see me buy this car in first person, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, I do have a second channel where I cover more of my personal life, so. Yeah, I bought this car, 2022 Honda Civic hatchback. It may not even be showing it, right? It may, you might just be seeing my lap. <laughs> Video is not over yet. I actually wanna see something. So like, I'm not trying to like dox myself or anything, but this is my apartment complex. Hopefully y'all can <laughs> still see what I'm doing. You might just be staring at my lap while driving. Um, but basically we have a car washing station, which is covered. So I might try to go there real quick and then see what's up because no one seems to be there right now. I don't think anyone's gonna drive in the rain to, to wash their car real quick. So let's go see. This is, this is a little maybe like a quick kickflip test, but then I'll do some actual clips after.
So hopefully it's not too wet over here. All right. Oh, little first person GTA. I might grip tape might get a little wet. Aye. So again, like I said, this is twin tail, so it doesn't really matter which way I skate it. But uh, yeah, let's see if I can get this initial kickflip test. I have no idea. Not skating in a while. Don't want to get my new board wet a little bit. And also the trucks may be, yeah, I'm gonna have to adjust the trucks later. Honestly, I don't feel too confident with this kickflip, but we're gonna try anyways. All right. All right, well, I got the kickflip. <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna go away, uh, wait for the storm to pass or wait till the next day and then we'll get some clips with this. All right, y'all, so I got roughly an hour before it starts raining again. It's been on and off, but let's see how many tricks I can get. Should have brought some water. <laughs> Bro. I'll take that. Starting to rain a little bit. I gotta go back now. All right, so that was my board setup. I'm falling on my other shoes. I'll get some more clips with this later, but that wraps it up for the POV skateboard setup. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Shout out to Glider Skateboards for hooking me up again. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.